the longing was definitely there, but it was actually a really useful time because we spent maybe eight hours a day on Zoom, even though we were next to each other, talking through the script of George, every single word, syllable. And then we did it for three weeks before we started shooting anything. So it was a long process. The film really dives into the beauty and mystery uh, as well as the fantasy of love, um, but also the hardships. And so I want to know for you both, were there any personal love lessons that you drew from to really build upon these characters? I think, you know, we everyone's probably had their heart broken at some point or, you know, misplaced in love. Um, and, uh, you know, it's dangerous to speak specifically choose one of those stories or experiences to inject into your art mm -hmm. but for me it was definitely you know I've been in love and wanted love and didn't get it the same way I had hoped for and that was something I could definitely relate to in terms of my character longing 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 you know um, mm -hmm. but not, not a specific story I think uh, it's a great question Naya and I'm thinking that if anything um, the film has encouraged me to know that it is possible for people who are very, very different to truly love each other. And sometimes mm. that real difference uh, and the relating of the long story of one's long life yeah. and noticing that, what, you know, you weren't there for it. It's their path. And then the joining and then the going off on one's own trajectory. I think that's a really beautiful thing to remind people about. You know, there's a sort of romantic myth about oneness and that, you know, it's only possible to be a couple if you are entirely sort of bound up with one another and you never think about your past and you, your future is going to be completely sort of bound up together, which is not actually practical. And it's very hard on us, I think, that mm, feeling. Mm. And it's so compassionate to listen to someone's story and mm. honor it and come together in a sort of separateness. I love that. And I think that's so interesting because uh, you can definitely see that uh, displayed on, tele um, on the film, um, mm -hmm. within the film. Um, but I'm also interested within that, with the longing, there was two weeks where you guys had to build upon that, right? Um, and you guys were from on different balconies, mm -hmm. kind of creating that chemistry. Can you just take me through that process of, in many ways, probably creating that longing of being in quarantine for two weeks? It's so great. We were, we were longing for lots of things, um, like not being Freedom. in those hotel rooms for a start. Um, and uh, we were 50 uh, stories above Sydney, I yeah. think. And we could see out and there was the bay and the boats and the grass and people who at that stage in Australia, there was no COVID. So people were wandering around without masks. And we knew that in two weeks time, we were going to be able to enter that world. Mm -hmm. But for the time being, we were stuck above mm -hmm. and we had our balconies were next door to each other. And there was a gap which was just enough for Idris's very long arm and my less long arm to pass a glass of wine over. And that was it. Um, it was, uh, yeah, it was beautiful. We were moment. doing it, but also, you know, the journey up to that point was a long one, you know, maybe two years before we were in Sydney mm -hmm. making this film with George Miller, mm -hmm. but we had to stay in a hotel room for two weeks before you yeah. can go. So mm -hmm. <laughs> the longing was definitely there, but it was actually a really useful time because we spent maybe eight hours a day on Zoom, even though we were next to each other talking through the script of George, every single word, syllable. And then we did it for three weeks before we started shooting anything. So it was a long process, really long Yeah. Process. And it's crazy because you say two weeks, you say three weeks, but I'm like, at least it wasn't 3,000 years, right? <laughs> Even though it felt like it sometimes, but... <laughs>